In addition to the usual controls which are available in the toolbox, Genexus allows us to create our own controls or use controls created by other users. These are called user controls. User controls, also known as extended controls, allow us to create applications with rich, user-friendly interfaces. For example, by adding menus, maps, charts, calendars, diagrams, and many other resources. In this course, we'll learn how to use a user control to create an image gallery. Let's suppose that the travel agency has requested us to display the tourist attractions they can offer in a screen that makes it possible to easily navigate the images available. The first thing we'll do to create an image gallery is to create a web panel where we'll place this gallery. To do so, we create an object, select the web panel type, and call it Attraction Gallery. Now, let's open the toolbox and drag a control of the image gallery type to the web panel form. As we can see, this action has also created a structured data type called Images Data. In addition, Genexus has automatically created two variables that will be used to save the image collection and the selected item. To load the collection from the attraction data, we'll create an object of data provider type. We'll call it data provider attraction gallery. Now we'll drag the image data structured data type to the data provider and the structure is now ready to be loaded. We'll enter the attraction ID as identifier, attraction ID. Since all the images data SDT members are of character type, we convert the attraction ID value to a string using the toString function. Now we assign the attraction photo as image. We have to load the image URL in the image member, so we use the image URI property of the attraction photo attribute. We assign the same value to the thumbnail member, which will store a thumbnail of the photo. In addition, to the caption member, we'll assign the name of the tourist attraction, that is to say, attraction name. We save what we have done and customize some properties of the image gallery user control. First, we'll change its width. We enter 1000. And its height, we'll set it at 500. And the way in which we want the gallery to be displayed on screen, we select slider. Lastly, we go to events to invoke the data provider so that it loads the collection. Let's delete this sample code. And in the start event, we assign to the image data variable the result returned by the data provider that we've created. That is to say, the collection of attractions stored in the database. We save and run the application. We select the attraction gallery link and we see our image gallery running. We've just seen how to create an attractive, functional image gallery in no time at all. For more information about user controls, read the community wiki page on this topic at the link shown below. And to access and download the user controls submitted by the community, go to the page shown below.